Hey guys, Alex here, and this video is going to be about Artister. So I had a lot of people ask me to make an Artister video, or I guess show pictures, just so you guys are kind of clear on what a good template looks like. Uh, well, the truth is, the reason why me and Fingerman love Artister is because it's really hard to go wrong like in the basic layout. The only thing you could probably like go wrong on is if you have some weird colors. Um, like a rule of thumb is always have a white background. Um, I think it just goes way better with the AdSense uh, formats. But I did experiment a couple of times in the past with different formats. But I never saw like a really big jump. So I think a white background and uh, on both the team and AdSense is really key. So a few personal preferences. Um, first, I usually like to only have one sidebar. So I'll go, I went to sidebar, then I go to layout, and I like to put it on the right. And I'll remove this vertical menu. Okay, so this will be a sidebar. It's not really important what you see here, as long as it looks like the link colors look okay. Because as soon as you add widgets in the um, template, once your uh, once the um, template is hosted on your WordPress blog, like whatever's on the widgets is going to replace here. This is just like what's on default. So a few other things. I usually like to have the menu under the headline. But this is definitely like a personal preference thing. Uh, here I like to put it larger usually. I think 900 is good. I'll change the header. I like to put it a bit shorter. You could add some images like here. Or you can add like your own actually. Sometimes I do that. Uh, like I had a website that was related to uh, water. So I put like a really nice artsy water picture. It was really cool. What else? So like I said, I like to have the menu under. So I'll put it there. If you prefer it to have the menu up, that's fine. I just like to have some user navigation. So usually on the menu, I only have my pages like the home, about me, contact us. Here in the sidebar I have categories and depending on the website like once I get like maybe a thousand plus visitors a day I usually add a search bar to make it easier for them if they're like searching something. Plus usually by the time you have a thousand visitors a day you have a lot of posts. So they might like want to look at the other information you have on your website. So having a search bar I feel helps. So you can pretty much configure the colors to your liking. Um, definitely like the white background. I like having my links in some form of shade of blue. So this looks good. If you want to um, configure a bit like how the article looks, like you could remove some of this or some of the information there you can just go to article and for example you could make it so it doesn't show the author then I can remove the date if that's what you want definitely want to edit button that's of course it only shows that if you're logged in as the admin visitors don't see it so it's really cool to have the edit button right there start else show category I rarely use tags I just don't really like them. I know Fingerman likes them, but I don't, so I usually just remove anything that mentions tags. Keep comments, category. Okay, this looks pretty good now. Um, anything else? Buttons. Menu looks fine. Header. Sheet. Background. See what happens. Oh, this look, could look pretty cool. Yep, honestly, I feel like this team is good. Um, 
So you can really configure your team to what you want. Make sure to save it and later on it's always a good idea to test things. Also on some of my websites eventually I added Amazon. So what I did was I added a second sidebar. So I did like a two column thing like this. Or actually in the future if I ever had to do it I'd probably would use this one instead. So maybe like have Amazon here and your categories and recent posting here and search. The reason why I rarely do this is because like this looks kind of lame. Like as a reader, it's a really small box. So unless I'm using Amazon, I usually just use one sidebar. So the like text box is pretty big. <clears throat> and that's about it. So I'm pretty sure I mentioned it. But really, with Artister, it's really hard to go wrong. That's why I really like to use it for all my websites. I always start with an Artister team. And then as things progress, maybe I might switch to something else. Like, for example, with Passive Income SEO, I didn't use an Artister team because I'm not going to use AdSense on that website. And I just, like, 100% want to focus on something that looks good. And Artister is, like pretty good looking but it's obviously not like the most flashy or good looking website you can possibly make but in the case of AdSense it's a perfect mix of good looking and um, putting enough emphasis on your ads so you get a good CTR oh, and finally a last thing you want to do is WordPress team and then you can just export it and then you can if you export it in zip you can upload it directly to the server in zip format or if you do it as a folder you can change it uh, you can transfer it by FTP okay so that's it about this video so honestly as you can see Artistor is not too complicated it just takes maybe your first team will take you a while but after that uh, it's really just making a team and it's pretty fun just make something that you like and it's really hard to go wrong so have fun